So the three musketeers, Rocky, Bullwinkle, and Athos, are finally getting close to discovering the whereabouts of the king of applesauce Lorraine. Look what it says in Francois Villain's diary. Tomorrow, I will go to the king. But unfortunately, the king Francois Villain went to was the King Theater. Goody, goody, a Mickey Moose cartoon. It was a moose, all right, but the wrong one. Bullwinkle was taken back to Villain's castle and condemned to the guillotine. It looked as though the show would be minus a moose. Stop! I'm the spy you want! And then it looked as though we'd be minus a flying squirrel. What's coming off here, Rock? He said in exactly three seconds. Ready? Aim. Stop! The razor-sharp blade hurtled downward, <laughs> only to strike the back of Rocky's neck and hurtle upward. <laughs> then down again, <laughs> then upward. What is going on? That blade acts as if it was made of rubber. Which is just what it was, for Rocky had switched blades the night before. Very well. If I can't kill you, I will put you away. Take him to Chateau Briand. Dear Bullwinkle, don't try to rescue me. I have a hunch Chateau Briand is where the king is being held. Repeat, don't rescue me. And at that moment, the cart carrying our wee hero came clattering over the cobblestone street. Chin up, Rock! Here, Bullwinkle! Catch! Oh, he's a spunk. Playing with paper airplanes at a time like this. Alas, Bullwinkle was unaware that that paper airplane was the note Rocky had just written. See, that gives me an idea. Rushing to the top of a high cliff, Bullwinkle hastily constructed a large version of the paper airplane. I will swoop down and pluck that plucky squirrel right off that cart. For Teramus. That paper airplane will not stay in the air. I don't see why not. I made it out of fly paper. With that, he took off and disappeared over the edge. Surprisingly enough, the plane flew. Not only that, but Athos stared in amazement when the plane, its pilot, and a passenger came soaring back to the top of the cliff. I got him, Athos! I got him! You got him, all right. You got the driver of the cart. Undismayed, Bullwinkle made a second attempt. I got him this time! You sure have. You got the horse. I thought he looked kind of big for a squirrel. Well, if at first you don't proceed. Certain that the third time would be the charm, he took off again. But alas, by now the cart carrying Rocky had rolled downhill and through the main gate of the infamous Chateaubriand. As for Bullwinkle, he did bring someone back to the top of the cliff. Who is it this time? I don't know. Claims his name is Lindbergh. I'll try again. No, the squirrel is already inside the chateau. Well, let us get him out. We. Oui. Now listen. Here is what we will do. Rocky, meanwhile, had been thrown into Chateaubriand's deepest dungeon and was contemplating his fate. First, I gotta find the king. Then I gotta get a message out to Bullwinkle. Rock! Hi, Bullwinkle. Then I gotta think of a way to... Bullwinkle, I thought I told you not to rescue me. But it wasn't a rescue, for Athos' plan to gain access to the prison was to bribe a guard. Only the guard turned out to be me. Francois Villain. Thus, the three musketeers found themselves together again, but in a most hopeless situation. And as if that wasn't bad enough, suddenly the walls of the cell began to tremble. Was it an earthquake? We'll find out next time in That's the Way the Cookie Crumbles, or Me and My Shadow. <laughs>